In the previous video, we looked at three different ways that you can apply an image onto your textures, such as this logo. However, you may have noticed that there is a lot of pixelation going on with this, and you might ask yourself why. One reason for it is everything is placed on a 2K map with this particular model. What we're going to do momentarily is move these two UV islands to their own UV map in order to get more texture resolution. And in the process, you'll see that all the pixels currently assigned to it will come along for the ride. Before I do that, I want to point out that the most simple and direct method of adding extra resolution is to go to the Edit menu under Mesh and Texture Resolution. You can click on the drop list toggle and select a larger sized UV map. But rather than do that, we're going to take the UV editing approach in order to give ourselves more resolution. So what I need to do is jump on over to the UV room. In the upper left hand corner, we have two different drop lists. One is for the UVs and the other is where to move selected faces or selected islands to. I can select an individual island, see it highlighted in the UV preview as well as the three viewport. I can hold the shift key and just continue adding to the selection. I may want to bring this little eyepiece or lens along with it. So I hold the shift key, click on that UV island. Click on this one as well and also these two islands that are on the back side of these. Okay. So just the faceplate here. Now, the next step is I want to go to this first drop list here and I can see a list of UV maps that exist in this scene. Right now, I only have one. If I want to rename this, I can do it at this point. So I'll rename it Body Parts. I don't have to do that. I just chose to do it while I'm at it. Okay. But the next step is to add a new UV set. In this one, I'm going to name it Face Plate. And we might add with Lens. Okay, and 2K is fine for that map. Now it has not moved it yet. I've just created a blank UV map and I've named it. Now, with these islands selected, I'm ready to move it to that new map that I've created. And I do that by going to the second drop list right here and move it to face plate. And you can see those disappeared now. So if I'm ready to work on that UV map, I need to go back to this first little drop list and select that UV map now. I could scale these up manually, but I could also just let 3D Coat do it for me by clicking on Pack UV. And there you go. Now, if I wanted these back textures to overlap instead of having their own discrete space on the UV map, uh, what I can do is click on one of these. Okay, they need to match in size and probably the poly count as well. Otherwise, you'll have a little bit of overlap. So I'm going to hold down the hotkey combination control C. Alternatively, I can choose copy UV and then select the other one and choose paste UV. Okay, so but I could again just use the hotkeys. Control C. Select this one. Control V. I might get something like this. That's no problem. I'll just go ahead and I'll select both of them to global uniform unfolding. I may have to do this one again. I think they're off just a little bit and so that's one reason why. So again I'll control C, select the next one, control V. I'm going to drag select to make sure I've got both of these. I'm going to have to basically flatten again. These two I want to leave separate because I don't necessarily want them to match. However, it looks like I need to rotate this island here. Just rotate it. 
I can also choose rotate clockwise or counterclockwise here. With this one, I don't really like this particular island like this. It looks like there is no seam. So I'm going to deselect that. Control D. I'm going to create some seams. I'm going to use my UV path tool. And just click my initial point and just intermediate points in between. And then when I'm ready to commit it, just hit the enter key and it's created a seam there. So I'm going to hit escape to drop that tool temporarily. I created one on the bottom there. So I'll go to the back side and let's try mark seams and I'm going to hold the shift key and that will try to select an entire row of edges here. So we got that done. I might do the same thing here. So that one looks a little stubborn, so I'm going to go back to the UV path here. Hit enter. Undo this seam here by holding the control key, which inverts it. Okay. So now that I have the seams completed here, I can just click on that island, which was all unified at one time. And I'm just going to hit 2GU, which is globally uniform unfolding. And it's going to unfold just that island or just that group of polygons there now. So it separated them. That's what I want. Okay, it looks like somehow this side here is still connected. So control click to deselect with mark seams selected. I'm just going to click this one part here. And once more, just come over here and select this area to GU, and now it's separated. Just going to reshuffle some of these islands for a moment. So I'm going to click to globally uniform. I think by default it might have been at ABF++. And then I can relax it if I need. Okay, I went ahead and skipped forward just a few minutes. But once we are happy with our new layout, the next step is clicking Apply UV Set. It's critical that you remember to do this because it really is an extra step of confirmation on 3D Coats part. So it looks like it's already done. Let's go over to the paint room. And you'll notice nothing really changed. Uh, I still have my textures here. I can delete that layer. I'm going to create a new one. And go back to my materials. Click on that particular preview object here. Right click to enable my 2D gizmo. Move that in place. Maybe scale it up a bit. I'll right mouse click in the center to drop that 2D gizmo and then just start brushing in order to apply the paint. And I'll close it. Zoom in. And now it's really nice and crisp. Okay, and with that, we're going to conclude this video covering two ways that you can quickly add some resolution to your textures in 3D Coat. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.